here once again to get out his first reaction to this new Jack Boys project entitled Jack Boys. Okay, in case y'all didn't know who the Jack Boys are, um, these are the people that are part of Travis Scott's label, Cactus Jack Productions, or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, please. But, uh, yeah. This is pretty much Travis Scott's label. He doing, like, the whole, uh, Dreamville compilation thing. And, yeah, he pretty much decided to drop it at the end of the year. Um, far as, like, what I know about this group, I don't really know... Anybody in this thing, I don't even know nobody that's on this album for real besides Sheck West and Travis Scott, I'm gonna be honest. So, far as everybody else, I don't really know what I'm getting into, but I can, far as like the production and everything, far as like what I'm expecting from this, I'm expecting Travis, I'm expecting Travis Scott to pretty much go off on this production. Travis Scott production is, um, it's amazing in my opinion. It's like it's like he he claims he don't put he he don't like to uh box himself in I guess and like call it a genre. But this is like some psychedelic trap type production, and I'm pretty sure that's what we finna get with this. So yeah, I'm done talking. Without further ado, we finna get into it. Travis Scott, um, Jack Boys, Jack Boys, let's go. You gotta watch out where you rock it. Shit get real. Drink too real like. First song we got on here is the Highest in the Room remix featuring Rosalia and Lil Baby. And she sound good on the vocals. Switches. That's like the only good thing about this song, straight up. Alright, so, I'm gonna be honest, I like the original. Um, they didn't really add nothing to that song, in my opinion. Yeah, I pretty much like the original. Ro Rosalia, she sound good, but she got one of them Google Translate uh, verses, so I didn't know what she was saying. So, yeah. Lil Baby, he don't, he, Lil Baby, Lil Baby, Lil Baby is great to me, but he sounds good on certain production. To me, this production wasn't it for him. So, yeah. The next song we got on here is called, it's called Intro. What the hell? Next song we got on here is called Intro. Yeah. I like this spacey, eerie vibe, bro. I, I love it. Okay, no, I've heard of this guy before. He's on. The, he was on the Travis Scott. Um, he was on the Astro World song. He was on that song. Uh, he, he was the dude that was singing the chorus. You can't sing many nights. I actually like him. I ain't know he was part of uh the Jack Boys. Let's go. Hey. Alright, that was a dope track, and I'm reading it right now. The members of Jack Boys are Travis Scott, guy named Don Tolliver, Sheck West, Luxury Tax, and Chase B. I gotta, I'm gonna figure out who's who, but I know who Travis Scott and Sheck West is. I got and I plus I know the guy from the um, from the Astro World song, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm figure this junk out though. So, without further ado, the next song we got on here is called Had Enough. And it has Don Tolliver on here. He singled out. I'm finna figure out who he is real quick. Featuring Quavo and Offset. Oh, what is this? Like whatever it is, it sounds great. This production is dope. Hey. 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 Oh. All right, that was dope. 
Now the thing about that one though, I don't know if that was Don Tolliver like singing a hook or that, that was like a sample. Either way, like it sound good. This was a great song. I, I like Quavo and also I like what they brought to the song also. So without further ado, the next song I got on here is called Out West featuring Young Thug. Young Thug and Travis Scott. We should have got that mixtape instead of the BS that was Quavo and Travis Scott together in my opinion. That's just me. Let's go. What? Ratchet, runchy, ooh, thug songs. I like it. So the next song we got on here is called What to Do, featuring Don Tolliver. This car is growing on me though, I ain't even gonna lie. I was questioning at first. I love the instrumentation. I love it. Like I call it the little, uh, I call it the Kanye violins. But yeah, this was dope. Like the the chords, you know what I'm saying? When I first heard it, it was like meh, but it grew on me as the song went. But yeah, for the most part, I like this song. And it might, I don't know, it might be my favorite instrumental on here so far. Travis Scott and Don Tolliver sound like. And they low key sound like a match made in heaven, low key, man. So, yeah, the last and final song we got on here is called Gotti, featuring Pop Smoke and Travis Scott is separate for some reason. <laughs> I'm an engine, I'm reverend, vroom vroom, get that nigga. If I got a bad bitch, that's up. Face down, face down. Yeah, she loves doggy style. And she got a Louis back. That whole ass thing go. Okay, okay. But what the hell is this? The chunk not a piece. It costs me three for the keys. Okay. Work with the fee. So, final verdict for um, Jack Boys, Jack Boys. So, I pretty much like every song on here except for Gotti and Highest in the Room Remix. Um, yeah. Gotti, bro, what, bro, I don't know who the Pop Smoke dude is, but, um, I ain't gonna say you suck or nothing like that. <laughs> bro. I don't, I don't know, this, this, dude not for me, dude not for me, I don't know what that was, like, I'm a, like, straight up, the, the CD was good, all the CD was great all the way up until, like, the last and final track, why would you put this on the last and final track, as far as, like, highest in the room remix, I just like the original version better, to me, um, Lil Baby, like I said, Lil Baby didn't really add nothing to it for it, and I feel like, I don't know, I don't feel like this, I don't feel like that production kind of really fit Lil Baby style. That's just me. And Rosalia, I feel like she sounded good. I just ain't know what she's saying. Like I said, she had one of them Google Translate voices. But at the same time, as far as the rest of the album, though, like, um, the production on here was great. And I feel like everybody on here had, I feel like everybody on here pretty much, you know what I'm saying, did their thing. Don Tolliver, like, he's pretty much the, like, He's the standout guy from like this whole, he's the standout guy from this whole project. Like, I like how Travis Scott kind of like just, I don't know, I feel like he, Travis Scott showed up, but he, he kind of let everybody do their thing. Especially like Don Tolliver. Don Tolliver kind of like, 
out of everybody's in the Jack Boys crew, Don Tolliver was the one that, that shined the most, and I can't wait to really, I can't wait to do a project from dude. If you got a project out already, I love to, you know what I'm saying, react to it and listen to it or whatever. Another thing I liked about this, features, you know, features outside, features outside of Jack Boys, that will include Quavo, Offset, Young Thug, Pop Smoke, Rosalia, and Lil Baby. Yeah, pretty much I like the Quavo Offset, the Young Thug features. Um, like I said about the um the Young Thug, the Young Thug song, like I, it sounded like a song that could have been on so much fun if you want me to be straight up. Like it, like it, that sounded like a, that sounded like a so much fun throwaway maybe. But at the same time, it's a good song for what it is, and I still stand by what I said. I feel like. Travis Scott should have gave us a project between him and Young Thug instead of uh, him and Quavo. But, yeah, had enough with Don Tolliver and Quavo and Offset. That was a great, that was, that was a great song. Yeah, for the most part, I like this project, and I can't wait to see what Jack Boys, you know what I'm saying, do in the future. Shout out to Travis Scott. A lot of people may not even know that this man had a, um, a lot of people may not even know that this man had a label. Like, I ain't really know to last year like when Sheck West dropped uh his project on um, Mud Boy, that's how I found out, you know what I'm saying, that Travis Scott had artists. So yeah, happy for him, you know. Let's see what 2020 brings. But yeah, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know how y'all feel about this project in the comment section. Please let me know if I was wrong about certain things. And yeah, this is T Sign out once again. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Uh -huh. Niggas ain't fucking with me. Get high like Ali Pop. Uh -huh. Should we